Hey, what's up everybody? It's Pastor Jay North here. Uh, and this week's lesson is all about prophecy and the importance of prophecy and the discovery of prophecy and the meaning of prophecy. And so uh, I got Pastor Kevin and he's going to share with us just a little bit about what prophecy is. All right. So, hey, Kevin, take it away. What is prophecy? Movies and books and people have tried to explain this concept. Many of them can be actually scary and terrifying. But how does the Bible explain this? We have our first example of prophecy in the Bible all the way back in the book of Genesis. After the fall of Adam and Eve, God reveals a prophecy of a serpent biting the heel of Eve's descendant but him then crushing the serpent's heel. This is obviously a prophecy about a soon coming Messiah who's going to right all wrongs and save humanity from eternal death. We have so many prophecies like this in the scripture. So what is prophecy? Prophecy is a forecasting of God's power in the future. God shares his plans and purposes through specific people called the prophets. And Daniel was one of them. In Daniel chapter 10 through 12, God offers a prophecy revealing the rise and fall of many kings. Jesus himself would reveal himself in all his glory and power in this section. Daniel is scared, but Jesus then holds him gently and tells him, do not be afraid. Now this leads me to the second half of my definition of prophecy. It is a forecasting of God's power in the future so that we can feel his love in the present. When Christians think about the future, if they feel fear and anxiety, that's not what prophecy is supposed to do. The promises of God in the future are supposed to inspire hope and love for one another, not fear and mistrust. The Bible assures of a grand and glorious ending where there will be no more fear, no more COVID-19, no more pain, and no more death.